Capturing Outpost this wipe has been one of the most talked about and hated quests I've ever heard. I mean, up there with like when test drive used to be 15 kills. I know they reduced it from 15 to 12, but please guys, uh, let me know in your comments what you would do to fix it if you think capturing outpost is a problem. Uh, also leave a like and hit the subscribe button and hit the bell. It really helps out with the algorithm. But let's talk about what I think is the most controversial quest of this wipe and of a while since it's been made capital required capturing outpost so when i really look at it from an outside perspective i'm trying to like, justify capturing outposts in every way and what i've come to realize is that the custom and woods parts of this quest are never the issue it's always eliminate pmc operatives at pier if you're going to leave the quest as it is with kills at pier this needs to be eight kills each well it's still obnoxious with pier nobody goes to pier except for people levels i think 16 to 24 because there's four quests at pier colleagues part two i believe where you have to grab a cms kit from inside pier finding the body forget the name of that quest marking the medical supplies there and then marking them again for skier that's the only four quests at pier there's nothing else at pier so capturing outposts is i don't know if you guys can see it here must be level 42 to start this quest but every quest that takes place in pier is from level like 18 at most and i think it's lower than that to like 24 every quest that i appear is camping people literally 20 levels lower than you so what i would change at pier is you're gonna see um a video right here there's a door at pier that is breach only there's enough space here to make a new room what i would do is i would make this door also require the key with tape having the key with tape used in two spots makes sense for the lore because Sanitar spawns at Pier and can spawn at Resort where the key with tape is. So it would just make sense that in an area that he can spawn at, he has another room. And what do you add in this room? Medical supplies, ophthalmoscope spawns, low chance of a Ledex spawn. And to make it interesting to higher level players, you add a very small chance of a green key card spawn. Currently, the only place these cards spawn is labs if you're gonna keep it at pier that's how i would make you relevant from now on so let's talk about very quickly all three of these maps in customs it wants you to get 12 kills of what people call fortress which is right here the reason why it's not a problem on, on customs is because any spawns right here unless you have to go to dorms their usual progression on this side is to go this way into fortress a, a lot of spawns here even on big red side unless they spawn up here all these three spawns guess where they go fortress usually fortress is basically the middle of the map there's four ways into this area excuse me there's three levels to fortress the goons spawn there it has good loot and if you hit power it has an extract there's plenty of reasons to go there, not to mention it's a natural flow of the map for PMCs at some point. And you saw that I have four kills on customs. I wasn't even trying to get them. I just happened to kill people at Fortress when I was playing customs. On Woods, same thing. This is the Emercom camp. Obviously, Woods is a way bigger map with way more places to go, right? But a lot of these spawns unless they have a reason to go up here the flow of the map is usually going to be to come here and then try to extract from here if it's open and if not from here usually if you spawn on this side and you do go through the trouble of this you're like you know what let me hit emercom let me see if there's any scavs to kill or if anybody looted it if you spawn here any of these five spawns right here hell even this one by old station guess what i'm gonna go to here this is the first place that has a lot of loot it's close by again it may not be the center of the map, but it is a highly trafficked area for the flow of the map. Multiple ways in or out, loot, and reasons to always stop by there, at least for half of the map, 
to get scav kills. There's off I've gotten like five ophthalmoscopes from the shelf right here in this corner next to the medical crate. Golden stars can spawn here. A lot of moonshine can spawn here. Sugar spawns here. A lot of great stuff spawns here. So it has good spawns, good floor loot, and a reason to go there. Here's the problem with pier. One way in or out, unless pier boat is open, which we don't have a way of being able to tell. I think they should add a light like they have on ZB11 and Customs. Three filing cabinets and two safes and two PCs. That's it. Also, the spawns are here. And most people that spawn here, they either, if they spawn in this corner, they run to this hill and are doing shooter board in heaven. If they spawn here, they're running to weather station, resort. Or radio tower, weather station, resort, power. Anybody that spawns here runs to resort. Or the cottages. Anybody that spawns here runs to resort. I am not saying that the answer is kill people at resort. Don't do that. Don't do that. What I would do is look at two maps to replace pier with. So the first map I immediately look at is reserve. And what I mean in reserve is I do not mean at all to do it in bunker. This is what this is how I would do it. This area right here. The two night buildings. The gas station and sewer man. Well... I would cut out sewer manhole. I'm sorry because I don't want people to spot to do this quest by camping sewer manhole. So I would do the gas station. So this, I cut it like this and then where our BST is. So gas station inside this gate like this. I would cut out sewer manhole. I would make it so that kills there don't count. From the entrance here in this little garage, all of our BST and the two night buildings. You can call it um, barracks. You can call it whatever. But I think if you put it in here, again, it follows all the same steps of Woods and Customs. A natural flow of anybody that spawns here to usually go here from this area. A lot of people rush here and they, they go to Bunker, which is fine. But there, I've gotten into a crazy amount of fights in this area, especially the two night buildings. There's reasons to go there. There's good loot. There's good keys. There's a quest at RBST. So fighting in RBST becomes a thing. Nobody's just running through to run to bunker. And the people in the outskirts that are trying to do shooter born in heaven have people fighting each other doing shooter born in heaven. Gluar can spawn here. And it follows the flow of traffic and keeps people on the top side of the map for a little bit. It's literally a perfect center spot. For this quest. And you say get 12 kills in the barracks. And it's healthier for the map. The other option I have is lighthouse. Now I am not saying do it in the expansion. Don't do that. That's going to be peer all over again. Except for the fact that there's good loot here. There's no way out. There's no extra extract. You have to like come out and get shot in the face. We don't want to promote camping. I'm trying to eliminate that. I think the best place for lighthouse. Which would allow more traffic. Has spawns has some good loot and people do traverse through this the village what is there to do in the village you don't even have to kill scavs in the village other than the house and the store the village doesn't have anything to do in it it's the most useless part of lighthouse what i would do is i would take the whole village including the store so cut it off right here and put the 12 kills here so remove pier and either put it in the barracks night areas of reserve or Remove pier and say get 12 PMC kills in village. And it, it's going to put more people here. There's an extract here. There is good loot here. It would bring a better flow. It's in the better spot to flow around the map. And there's nothing to do there. Anyway, guys, please tell me in the comments how you would like to change capturing outposts. Maybe you like the quest the way it is. I think the way it's set up is not done well from the pier point of view. I think the other two spots are completely fine. Either put it in reserve in the barracks, put it in lighthouse in the village, or add that room that you can use keyword tape in with good spawns and a rare green keycard spawn. One of those three options I think would make the quest more bearable and want people to do it. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Again, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, thank you for your time and you have a great day.